What's up, Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and today we're gonna to be looking at the azanthic gene and the bamboo gene. And I have a theory about bamboo that I'm sure people out there have noticed as well, and people might have talked about it, I'm not really sure, I haven't heard it mentioned that much, but I feel that bamboo is, is, is sort of like an azanthic gene, or it has azanthic-like qualities to it. And azanthic itself is a recessive gene, Okay, with you need two copies of it and when you have two copies of it it re, doesn't remove completely but it greatly reduces the yellow pigments in a snake um, so you know ball pythons have a lot of yellows in them when you take away the yellows you produce more or less a, a black or gray and white looking snake and there are several lines of azanthic there's the vpi azanthic which may be the most popular there's the tsk or the snake keeper line of azanthic there's the Joliffe line of, of Azanthic, and they all have their own merits. There's the, um, the Marcus Jane um, Azanthic lineup there in Canada. And each one has its own, like I said, I guess advantages, disadvantages. I like TSK, you know, Azanthics in, if you're trying to make a snow. So if you take an albino, which has no black pigment, and then you take away the yellows that are left, you get a pretty white looking snake. Um, for v, as far as VPI azanthics, I like to use them for pretty much everything else. The first thing I ever got was like a, a VPI azanthic um, fire, and it was really, really breathtaking because it was it was azanthic, and then the fire lightens things up even more. Even though it usually yellow snakes, it can't yellow them because the azanthic gene is there, but it lightens them, so you got a much prettier looking, cleaner looking azanthic. I bred that with a bamboo azanthic that I picked up. And what I found was that, you know, it created a really nice synergism, a real nice what we call epistasis, the way the genes interact with each other. And I'm going to show you these snakes. And looking at, at bamboo in and of itself as a, as a single morph, you notice there's not a lot of color in there. It, it seems to strip away yellows as well. And so that was the reason I wanted to see how these guys interacted with each other. And it, it was spectacular. And probably even more spectacular was the VPI Azanthic Bamboo Fire that I produced. And that was probably the nicest looking one, I think. That, uh, you know, the only thing I could think that would be better would be get like maybe Pied in there, you know, or, or Clown in there. But uh, Clown reduces pattern and, and color any more, even more. And then the Pied obviously would break it up, so it would look even cooler. So, but sometimes Pied can ruin Bamboo a little bit. So I, I really like the way these look. And, and, we're going to take a look and examine is VPI, Azanthic, and Bamboo something similar? Do they have both have the same Azanthic like qualities? The interesting thing about Bamboo is Bamboo is an incomplete dominant, so you only need one gene copy. If you have two gene copies, you actually produce a white snake. A Super Bamboo is a white snake, which is weird. So let's take a look and see what we got. All right, here's a beautiful VPI Azanthic. It's actually scale his head too, but I wanted to show you. He was, she was the only um, VPI Azanthic that I had that doesn't have anything else mixed into it. So I wanted to show you what a VPI Azanthic is. The Azanthic line um, or gene removes yellows. Okay, not to be confused with the aneurytheristic gene that removes reds, which we really don't have in uh, ball pythons, but. This azanthic gene is pretty common. There's a couple different lines of it. This is the VPI line. There's also a snake keeper line or TSK line, and there's a Joliffe line, but, uh, and then there's, there's a couple others too that people have found it. But this is one of the most popular, the VPI azanthic. It removes the yellows and you get like a, like a, almost a black and white snake or like a gray and black snake. They're really beautiful. You can see this girl. Hopefully she'll breed for me this year. And We've seen this mixed into a lot of things. Um, in the ball python world, we make snows with these, we do, which is an albino and an azanthic combination. I'll show you that in a little bit. And there's a lot to be done. But there's also another gene we talked about earlier, the bamboo gene. And I'm gonna show you, um, my belief is that bamboo is some sort of an azanthic type gene because um, it just looks just like <laughs> azanthic. I've never seen a bamboo with a lot of color. It seems to remove yellows. Uh, I'll show you some pictures while I'm talking about this, of what I'm talking about, but it looks a lot like an azanthic gene. And that's why I find that when you mix bamboo with azanthic, and I'll show you the snake in a minute, it has some really good, nice combinations that you get some really, really kind of interesting looking snakes. 
Let's take a look. All right, this is an azanthic line. This is the, the TSK azanthic line combined with albino, and this gives us what we call snow, which is a really beautiful pure white snake. One of my favorite white snakes. There's a lot of different ways to make white snakes and, and ball pythons, uh, but this seems to be my favorite combination. It's a really milky, milky looking white snake. And once again, you have the albino. Usually albinos have yellow in them. The azanthic removes the yellow and you get a white snake here. So that, you can see that. Now, we talk about bamboo. This is bamboo with VPI azanthic combined. So bamboo gives you this dorsal pattern of like a piece of bamboo, essentially, that's where it comes from. And you can see there's, there's no infusion of any kind of color whatsoever. Now, obviously this is an azanthic, so you're not gonna see it, but bamboo itself, I showed you before, has very, no, almost no color in it. And so these morphs mix really well together. Now, bamboo's a little dark, so you're gonna get like a, bit, a little bit of darkness in here. And once again, it's not gonna really change much because like I said, bamboo doesn't have any much color in it. I believe it to be some sort of an azanthic-like gene. So not only does it change pattern, but it also removes color. And it seems to remove the yellow color, you know, more so than anything else. So if you see bamboo combinations, and I can show you some of those, you'll notice that they're, it's very, they're very non-yellow <laughs> is the best way to put it. They look azanthic almost. Now here is a uh, beautiful female that I'm breeding this year that I produced a number of years ago. This is a VPI azanthic, and it's got the bamboo in it. You can see the bamboo patterning, but it's also got fire in it. Now fire lightens things up and usually yellows them. But when you take away the yellow because of the azanthic and the bamboo, you get this really whitish looking snake with really tremendous highlights. And you gotta remember, ball pythons look way more impressive as babies, but the, these hold their color really nice, these VPI azanthic bamboo fires. And I have a couple of these still available. Actually, this female I think is available right here, but um, I, have, I have a fire version of this too. And once again, I'm breeding her this year because I, I love love how much color she's got and breeding her into clown. I know there's been some really nice clown azanthics bamboos made before, but I have never made any, so I'm, I'm working on some interesting combinations with that just because I love this girl so much. I was going to sell this girl and then I wound up keeping her because she, once again, I, first of all, I love bamboo. The pattern changes. Not, there's not a lot of pattern morphs in bows. There's a lot of color morphs. So bamboo is very interesting, but you have to understand that it has an azanthic quality to it. So if you're trying to infuse a lot of color into your, into your snake, that's not gonna happen. So you, you really have to think black and white. I know it sounds kind of a trite in a sense, but if you, if you think black and white, what, am I, what can I do with black and whites? You know, it's almost like if you're doing like a pencil drawing with just a black pencil. You could make different shades of black, gray, whites, but you have to think in terms of, if I'm gonna draw a picture, that's all I'm gonna have available to me. And that's really what it amounts to when you work with bamboo and azanthic. So, really nice. Hopefully you guys uh, got a nice taste of what this gene does and these genes do together. Very, very, they work, the epistasis or the way they interact is um, something that I think more people should try to exploit. Here's another little beautiful girl I'm raising up. This is another VPI Xanthic bamboo fire. Once again, really nice color. And look at that head. I just, I, I, it's, it's an interesting look. You know, I mean, I like very, very colorful snakes. I like stuff that has tons of oranges in it, purples. But you know, there's something to this azanthic look because it forces you to think outside the box and say to yourself, what can I add to this to make this better? I've seen Ultramel bamboos that just don't, they don't look good. Because Ultramel is this ultimate, ultimate infusion of color. And then you're taking it away with them because the bamboo acts like an azanthic. And if you remove you know, the oranges and the yellows, you, you get a very whitish looking snake. So you have to think very carefully when you're putting stuff into azanthic or bamboo or the combination. Fire, once again, lightens things. You can, you can work with that. I think Desert Ghost would work really well on this. That might be something that, for the future. 
that I might do. Because Desert Ghost is also in that tan beige family. You're lighting stuff up. I think it would clean this up even more. Food for thought. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for today. Uh, I wanted to make this a quick hit. It's been a bit very busy week for my kids at home, for, for school, for the holiday, and then one got sick. And so uh, I wanted to do this video because I've been, you know, really looking at my snakes. And, I've, and, and bamboo has really been something that's been on the back of my head. I, think, I just think it hasn't been exploited enough. I know I've seen it in clown. We've seen it pretty much put into everything, but I think that the there's still things that could uh, uh, be unlocked. I think bamboo and xanthic together is is key because they both are like once again, and bamboo kind of is an axanthic like gene, adding it to an axanthic, they work very well together. And because they work so well together, we have to think of ways to make it better. Fire cleaned it up. I think, like I said, mentioned earlier, I think Desert Ghost is going to clean it up tremendously as well. And I don't think you necessarily have to put it in pine or clown. I, you know, of course people are going to do that because they're very popular morphs, but I think there's other things that we can think about that might look well. What about paint or something something interesting like that? Or even nanny or something something off the charts that no one's really thought of yet. Maybe even red stripe. Um, even though red stripe is, is a color type of morph, it does have a pattern change with a nice stripe down there. Genetic stripe even. So, uh, but that might, you know, that's going to take away the bamboo. I love the, the jagged bamboo pattern along that dorsal area. And I don't really want to lose that because I think that that's important. It's how do we clean that snake up to make it even look better and make that bamboo stand out more. If you got any suggestions, put them in the comments below. Uh, I'm open to try anything at this point. And uh, I, once again, I, you know, I think you got to, once again, think outside the box, you know, Everyone kind of thinks about this in the same circle. Sometimes you got to go outside and look at it. These jeans are unusual. Once again, it's like making a black and white sketch, pencil sketch. There's not a lot you can do with it. So you have to shade and, and make different changes and tweaks and, and get shadows right. So that's what we got to do in ball python. We're artists, right? And we have we have a palette. And sometimes we limit that palette, like in it with an azanthic or a bamboo jean. How do we make it better? Put on your thinking caps. And while you're thinking about that, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit your like button. I'll see you back tomorrow morning.